Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, see you folks, sounds like a video series, videos I do for the water. I go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, and folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks. I'm not going to lie. Th There's a little bit of a redemption review, hopefully. But we'll get to that. So, uh, it's a super simple format, folks. I'm gonna go over there, I'm gonna freaking eat and or drink some stuff, then I'm gonna yammer on about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm inside the truck, whilst I'm inside the truck and yammering and eating stuff, I'm wearing a super cool shirt. Folks, when I wear super cool shirts, I like to highlight the super cool shirt. Super cool shirt am I wearing today? Boom, it's my Nerve Pitch shirt. If you are not familiar with the band Nerve Pitch, I am not terribly surprised. Uh, they are a very obscure new metal band that was around in the early 2000s in Canada. Uh, sadly, they never gained a lot of, you know, significant popularity during their run. You know, I mean, they obviously had their fan base and such. They would eventually go on to, grant, or to gain, uh, you know, sort of greater attention due in part, due in no small part to the fact that uh, their album... Because they, they released one EP and one full-length album. Their full-length album had only been ever uploaded online incomplete. There were two songs that were missing. And so for years and years, like, people were scouring the inter internet, trying to find something, talking with the remaining band members, seeing if there was anything they could do. And uh, actually just a few months back at the time I'm doing this now, <clears throat> it was finally uploaded in totality by... It was either the bass player or the guitar player from the original band. Uh, he was able to find a, one of the, at this point, the only confirmed CD left and went over there and uploaded it. So I like these guys a lot. This shirt was actually custom made for me by my friend Mark, uh, who is an awesome graphic designer and just all around swell guy. And uh, he went over there. He made this for me. Excellent dude. Love you, Mark. Anyway. What am I trying for y'all? Why is this a redemption, ep uh, redemption episode? So, uh, for any of you who don't know, this is going to be one of my sub sandwich reviews, okay? And I've been going on sub sandwich adventures for, you know, a number of months now, like, you know, quite a bit now. I have an entire playlist called Subs for Subs, which are just my sub sandwich adventures. And I drop my sub sandwich reviews every Sunday because Sunday is sub day. That's, that's my little hook thing that I came up with. So one of the places that I've tried previously is, boom, Bezos' Sandwich in St. Charles. St. Charles is my hometown. I was born in Chicago, but I spent most of my formative years in St. Charles. So I tried a couple things from them previously. I was left underwhelmed, but I was making my way out here again to go visit a friend and I was like, you know what, we gotta do it again. So, boom, sub sandwich, and specifically, it is the, I because I had to do it, this is their St. Charles sub, which is turkey, bacon, avocado, American cheese, lettuce, tomato, onion, Thousand Island dressing, and mayo. That sounds fantastic. That sounds like a lot of things that I should love. So let's see how this goes. Now, one of my big gripes with the previous subs that I got from them was that they were warmed, and I didn't feel like they needed to be. I feel like they would have been better as cold subs. This one, too, has been warm. But, I don't know, I'm not going into this with any preconceived notions. You know, I'm going to just enjoy it, hopefully, and go from there. So, right off the bat, let's get a nice little picture of the cross section. Okay. You're definitely getting quite a bit in there. Especially the fucking avocado, man. Look at that. That is that is some hefty avocado. I wish my dad was still around, man. That fucking dude loved avocado. Too much. Too much avocado. I like avocado. Too much. Bread. Of course, immediately. On my nerve pit shirt, because why not? Uh, bread. Be interested to find out what kind of bread they use, because it doesn't seem like standard sub bread, but... Let's give it a go, folks. I've yammered for quite a bit. Oh, 
Okay. Okay. All right. I'm, uh, I'm down with this one. I think I like this one. So, now here's the thing. Like I said, one of the big, the biggest point of contention I had with the previous subs was that I didn't feel like, because I got like an Italian sub and like a Hawaiian chicken sub. I didn't feel like they needed to be warm. Now let me emphasize warm, not toasted. Toasted, I think, is perfectly fine. Warm just seems a little bit weird to me. Now, this one has been warmed, and I do think it might be better as a cold sub. And maybe if I go back there again, maybe I will ask them and just be like, hey, you know, could I, could I just get it cold? Um, but I will say, the, the warming of the sub, I don't feel is massively detracting from my enjoyment of it. It's still very tasty. The ingredients taste really good. Uh, you know, the folks who made it were super cool and everything like that. You can really taste the individual ingredients too. And that's to their credit. Everything tastes fresh. It's really flavorful. And even things like onions, which I'm not the biggest onion guy, but you know, I'll rock some onions when it feels appropriate. I feel like they're appropriate in this setting. It is a messy sub. I like the American cheese. The American cheese, I will say, I think benefits from being warm. It's not quite melty, but it, it gives a little bit um, more flexibility. You get better flavor from it. I like that. I like the Thousand Island. I think that's a nice addition. And it's it's got good flavor, but it's not overpowering. I think this is one of these instances where it has a lot of punchy flavors. And I think that really works to its benefit. Nothing is like overpowering anything else. It's all working together to just be a really flavorful sandwich. <laughs> I mean, I'm down with it. I genuinely am. Um, now, do I have points of contention? Yeah, I do. I do. Um, the bread isn't bad. It actually has okay flavor to it, but I think it'll benefit from being properly toasted or conversely going to a more uh, standard sub bread because for me a nice sub bread should be crispy on the outside and then you know nice and soft on the inside this is just you know it, it's it's mostly just soft which is fine I mean it's doing its job still but um and I'm trying to kind of think the bacon is a nice addition. I mean, and turkey and bacon work really well, obviously. Um, the bacon is a nice addition. It does get a little bit lost. You know, I think maybe there could be a little bit more, a little bit extra bacon, but that's that's in pretty much everything, to be fair. Um, no, I mean, it's good, and it's... I appreciate what it's doing. I appreciate that it has a lot of good flavors. I appreciate that everything tastes fresh. I appreciate that... You know, it's one of those things that almost seems jumbled, you know, because it has so many flavors going on, but then it's not. It's actually works really well together. And I appreciate the fact that it's a signature sandwich. Like that 
really can't be emphasized enough. Like, there's a lot of places I've been to during the course of my adventures where all they do is offer, you know, the, the standard fair stuff, which is fine. But it is cool to have a signature sandwich, especially when you're talking about, excuse me, uh, you know, for me, like I said, this being my hometown, you know, being named after the hometown, this is a good sandwich to represent to represent the city of St. Charles. And I mean that in every way, in that, because I, you know, like I said, I, I lived here for a lot of years. St. Charles, a lot of good things about it, but like any place, it has its pitfalls. And I think that that's represented well here. Like, this isn't my favorite incarnation of what this sandwich could be. This could be a truly epic sandwich. I think with just the, the general ingredients just tweaked a little bit, you know, but it's a really solid sandwich that does a lot of things that I like, even if there's certain things that I personally feel, it, you know, could do better on. And that's, that's kind of St. Charles. It's like, I mean, you know, St. Charles, I wouldn't say St. Charles would ever be epic, but, you know, it's a solid place to live and has a lot of nice things going for it. You know, there's just certain things that, you know, like any place, you know, it just falls down on. But two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? Yes and yeah. And I and I really do mean that. Like, not only would I get this because so far this is the best sandwich I've had from Bezos's, uh, this is actually a sandwich I would get because it's unique. And it's unique to... Bezos's and it's unique to you know my hometown you know even if I don't live there anymore so I, I would get it again I liked it I thought it was a good sub now that said as for recommending it I mean it it obviously depends on what you want but I think it's a nice flavorful sub with a lot going on for it and you know put together by nice people with good ingredients there you go anyway five things before I get out of here have yourself a great rest. Whew. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of week. Monumental rest of month. Stupendous rest of your folks. You can go out there and have yourselves a truly redemption-tastic rest of your life. Because, folks, I am going to consider, at least partially, this one is being redeemed. I'm going to, you know, I will eventually make my way back around Bezos's, try another sub, and we'll see, you know, we'll see, we'll see where things go. But I'm going to say for right now, Partially redeemed, partially redeemed. Because I got two subs before. I only got one sub this time. So, but anyway, final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. So it's possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do can't do all the time. I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you're gonna do, folks. You're gonna try not to be an asshole. Now, folks, that's not always the easiest thing to do in the world. Trust me, I know it. I live it every single day of my life. And even though you know life can be stressful and distressing, and it can just put you into a shitty mood, and you just wanna bear that asshole to the universe it's part of when we run into those situations take a step back try to mitigate the level of assholes in our lives hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us very final thing folks do the thing whatever the thing is for you that's what i want you to go out and do folks maybe you're going to go over there and <laughs> maybe you're going to be a very attractive lady walking her dog while i'm trying to pay attention to the video that i'm doing Jesus, lady, that is, and I'm not trying, I'm not trying to be creepy or weird about her or anything, just appreciating the fact she's a very beautiful lady, plus she has very adorable bumpers. Anyway, this video's gone on too long, so do whatever you want, I don't give a damn. Bye!